Hey everybody, Samsara here. Welcome back to the channel. During a recent Q&A session, Ryan Milsert, CEO of American Battery Technology Company, was asked whether the company expects to deliver recycling services solely through their own facilities or whether there's an opportunity for them to partner with other companies. I think what this meant was, is there plans for the company to build co-located facilities to recycle batteries with major automotive companies? Now in the past, the name Tesla comes up and the company themselves has been pretty clear that there is no partnership known with Tesla. So I think that's a pretty speculative thing. But what we do know is that the company was recently awarded up to $2 million to work with major automotive companies. Now that grant comes through USCAR and it's associated with the big three automotive companies here in the US. So I think it's most likely that the first announcements will be with a potential co-location with one of those major automotive companies, if not more, but we really just don't know. That's my interpretation, but let's see what Ryan had to say. And I think one of the most important things about this industry is as we move to that circular economy, it's formalizing relationships with companies up and downstream. So upstream of us are the automotive OEMs, downstream of us are a lot of the, the large chemical refining companies. So we have already you know, won a few competitions from those companies. A few of them have chosen to partner with us on these you know, government grants and demonstration projects. So we are definitely working with companies within this industry. And more than just work with, what actually makes quite a bit of sense is more you know, co-location, physically building our commercial facilities on the same or on adjoining property to many of our potential partners. And this really works to minimize a lot of those transportation and regulatory costs, and really just helps to, again, lock down that security of supply. So the answer is yes, we're, we're already doing demonstration projects with both the automotive side upstream, and then also with more of the chemical refining uh, companies downstream. Cool, so stay tuned, I guess, right? <laughs> That's the good news. It's in the works. So there you have it from the man himself. It's in the works. So I know a lot of investors like myself are excited to figure out who these partnerships are with. Is it one, is it two, or is it even all three of the big three? That would be amazing. And based on other conversations, we know that the ramp up phase of a new battery cell production plant, whether it's a cell manufacturer itself, or it's the auto manufacturer who's assembling these into the EVs. As the lines ramp up, um, there's a lot of kinks to work out. So there's a ton of waste. This will be an amazing opportunity for American Battery Technology Company and their partners. I'm really looking forward to it, um, not only for myself as an investor, but for what it means for the technology and the market as a whole. Um, they're bringing something completely new to the market, and I think this is an amazing opportunity for us to show the world how closed-loop operation can work to help uh, improve the efficiencies of the manufacturing processes. Well, that's all for today. Um, I look forward to publishing more content like this in the future, so please like and subscribe. And uh, I'll keep watching these seminars and webinars and Q&A sessions and seeing what little nuggets I can get out to share. So until then, take care.